evidence of advanced ancient civilizations, their megalithic underwater structures found in Japan, India, Cuba, and North America. Let's remember the last ice age about the younger driest period 12,800 years ago meant that the sea levels around the world were hundreds of feet lower than they were today, than they are today. And of course, these underwater structures, most of them have been found by accident. Now, in cultures all over the world, there are ancient stories about beautiful, prosperous cities that became submerged in the ocean and were never seen again. The most famous of these is the story of the lost continent of Atlantis, but there are many others. So could it be possible that some of these cities actually exist? In recent years, modern technologies have allowed humanity to investigate the ocean floor like never before. So as we've done so, we made some incredible discoveries and you're about to see some amazing mysterious structures that have been found on the bottom of the ocean floors all over the world. Could these mysterious structures actually be evidence of very advanced ancient civilizations? As we learned about these ancient civilizations, th will this knowledge turn the conventional version of human history that we all learned in school upside down? In other words, we believe that they didn't have that much advanced technology, whereas finding these structures, we find that they had very advanced technology and very advanced knowledge of astronomy and construction. So we live at a time when mind-blowing discoveries are being made at the pace never seen before. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Recent information came up recently about the advanced ancient civilizations. Uh, discoveries made at about megalithic ruins that have just been discovered in Russia that contain the largest blocks of stone ever found and these blocks are even larger than Baalbek. Nobody can explain where those stones came from, who lived there or how ancient humans could cut and move such massive blocks. Now of course our mind goes to ancient giants and there have been ancient giant skeletons that have been found. Now, similar things could be said about many of these mysterious structures at the bottom of the ocean floor. They are megalithic construction. The ancient underwater city of Yonaguni in Jima, Japan. For as long as anyone can remember, the residents of Okinawa passed on stories of a vast underwater city to their children. Many considered those stories to be simply myths, but after what happened in 1986, all that changed. In 1986, a diver near the island of Yonaguni, Jima, off the southern tip of Japan around Okinawa, came across some strange structures only about uh, 70 feet below sea level, 25 meters below sea level. They appeared to be stepped structures with terraces and ramps. One of the largest pyramid structures is 600 feet wide and 90 feet high with five separate levels of stone blocks with what appears to be road surrounding the structure. Tool marks and carvings have been discovered upon the stones and documented which indicate that they have construct they were constructed rather than being natural stone structures. So this was a an intentional megalithic construction. Masaki Kimura, a marine geologist from Japan's Ryu Kyu's University, Japan, has been studying and mapping the site for over 15 years, and he believes that the site is over 5,000 years old, but was sunk during an earthquake about 2,000 years ago. And there were YouTube videos posted on these incredible ruins. You can see the links to these uh, videos here. And then we have, off the coast of India, Dwarka, an incredible underwater city found just off the coast of India as well, known as Dwarka, and at the longest point, it stretches for five miles. Once again, this city provides evidence of a highly advanced civilization in the ancient world. The Bay of Cambay was discovered by marine scientists in early 2002. 
The city is located 120 feet underwater in the Gulf of Cambay, off the western coast of India. The city is five miles long and two miles wide. Carbon dating estimates the site to be a whopping 9,500 years old and more. Amazingly, architectural and human remains are still intact there. The discovery astounded scientists because it predates all our other finds in the area by 5,000 years, suggesting a much longer history of the civilization than was first assumed. Marine scientists used sonar images and some bottom profiling to locate the lost ruins and it's believed the area was submerged when the ice caps melted in the last ice age. So we're talking about, yeah, about 11,000 years ago. The Indian nationals have dubbed the find Dwarka, or the Golden City, in order of ancient submerged city said to belong to Hindu god Krishna. Now, a Cuban underwater city. Again, recently, in the year 2001, the BBC reported on the discovery of a lost city in the Cuban waters. A team of explorers working off the western coast of Cuba said they discovered what they think of the ruins of a submerged city built thousands of years ago. Researchers from a Canadian company used sophisticated sonar equipment to find and film stone structures more than 2,000 feet below the sea surface. That's pretty deep. That's 650 meters down. Some have speculated that this could be the location of the lost city of Atlantis, but since 2001, follow-up work has been slow. The following is what Wikipedia has to say about this lost city. Cuban underwater city, city refers to a site thought by some to be a submerged granite complex structures off the coast of the Guajacabibas Peninsula in the Pinar del Rio province of Cuba. Sonar images inter, uh, interpret, interpreted as being symmetrical geometric stone structures resembled an urban complex were first recorded in early 2001 covering an area of two square mile, two square kilometers, that's 200 hectares, at a depth of between 2,000 feet and 2,460 feet. That's from 600 meters to 750 meters down. So that's pretty, pretty low. Now, the discovery, obviously, there must have been a, a very huge geological change to sink this thing so far down. Now, the discovery was reported by Pauline Zalitsky, a marine engineer, and her husband, Paul Zweizweg, Weizweg, owners of a Canadian company called Advanced Digital Communications, working on an exploration and survey mission in conjunction with the Cuban government. The team returned to the site a second time with an underwater video robot that filmed sonar images interpreted as various pyramids and circular structures made out of massive smooth blocks of stone that resembled hewn granite. Zeliski said, it's a really wonderful structure which really looks like it could have been a large urban center. However, it would be totally irresponsible to say that it was, it was before we have evidence. Now, Lake Huron in Canada, the, the Great Lakes. Did you know that there are ancient ruins under Lake Huron? We've just discovered, according to USA Today, an elaborate network of hunting blinds and animal herding structures has been found that is potentially thousands of years old. Deep below the surface of Lake Huron, scuba divers, researchers have found an elaborate network of hunting blinds and animal herded structures dating back roughly 9,000 years. Again, it's about the time of, you know, the Clovis, the end of the Clovis culture and around the time of the last ice age before the Great Flood. Lake levels of the day were some 250 feet lower than they are today, exposing a narrow bridge of land running from one side of Lake Huron to the other. Prehistoric people evidently thought this isthmus was a perfect place to intercept the caribou on their seasonal migrations. The hunting site they built, now inundated, opens a window onto prehistoric America and provides valuable evidence in a region where such artifacts are particularly, practically non-existent. And then we have an underwater city near Saipan. Thanks to Google Earth, ordinary people like you and me are able to examine our planet like never before. For example, one gentleman named Scott Waring believes that he's been able to spot a massive underwater city near Saipan using Google Earth. 
And this is what he said. He said, hey guys, looking over Google Earth, came across this remarkable looking underwater anomaly. Massive walls seem to go for about 50 miles, but long ways is about uh, 250 miles. Sure, these anomalies could be an ancient Asian civilization that sunk under the ocean long ago, but it also could be an underwater alien base, he says. Its size and location will ensure millions could use it, and since it's such a, a secluded area, few humans will ever see their UFOs leaving, entering the water. So, uh, we could just be scratching the surface of these underwater discoveries. Of course, underwater, things are hidden. How can you be there? You know, <laughs> we don't have the... Uh, it takes a lot of money to have these uh, uh, vehicles to, to examine all these things. Now, and since many of these sites have been totally undisturbed by human activity for thousands of years, we could potentially find some things that are absolutely mind-blowing. So the question is, as more information about our ancient history comes to light, are we able to, are we going to be uh, able to handle it better? Uh, so, this is on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comments. This is by Alexander Light. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.